Do you ever wonder if some kids just get math while other kids maybe not so much? This all starts way earlier than you think, and I'll let you know it's not about memorizing facts and rules. In early grades and later grades, we're trying to help students build a math flexibility. An example of that is this. 3 and 7 is equal to 4 and 6. Using these 10 frames, we can see they have the same amount of counters. This is intentionally not focusing on the math facts memorized, it's intentionally focusing on the similarities, equality, and understanding of what numbers actually mean. We're not teaching rhymes, we're not teaching silly songs, we're helping students actually understand the meaning of the numbers. We're helping students to understand what the numbers represent and help students understand there are multiple ways we can represent those numbers and build that flexibility in their thinking. The more we can help these students understand how things are similar and how things relate to each other and different ways of being flexible in mathematics, the stronger mathematicians we can build. And no, there aren't certain people that are math people. There are certain people that are good at memorizing facts. That doesn't make you a math person. We can all learn to be problem solvers. All students can learn to think about problems and analyze and solve problems.